Hey guys, this is W Rocker MCK here, and this is five tips for WWE live events. First one, pretty basic, but a lot of people still do it. Don't be on your cell phone the entire time you're at a show. If you're gonna pay any money for a ticket, put that cell phone in your pocket and pay attention. When I went to NXT TakeOver Brooklyn, the guy next to me was on his Instagram, on his Twitter, the entire time. I paid almost $200 for that ticket. Don't be the person on your phone not paying attention because someone else could have really took your seat. Second tip is have a friend take pictures for you. Now, if you're a big fan of, let's say, AJ Styles or Sasha Banks and you know they're going to be next or you hear the theme music hit and you want to be that fan that jumps up and cheers for them the entire match, but you really want pictures at the same exact time, hand the camera over to whoever's with you. Or... If maybe you went by yourself, talk to the person in the seat next to you and say, Hey, I'm really looking forward to this person. Do you mind if we just switch swap cameras during this one match? That way we can both cheer and get pictures at the same exact time. I go to all my shows with my boyfriend, so we make, you know, we write out who we want pictures of beforehand and figure it out. So when the time comes, we know who to hand the camera to during what match. That way we still get great pictures of the show and neither of us really miss out on the superstar we wanted to cheer for. Third tip is look for exclusive merchandise when you first get in. And when I first get in, the merch tent is usually ginormously full of people and you see those prices and you get a little scared because yes, they are higher than WWE Shop. But you want to look for autographs. Those are exclusive to live events. Programs. The I Was There t-shirts. And sometimes they'll even have like little toys that went for the show or something. Just look around. You never know what you can find. And sometimes it'll honestly shock you well, what they will have at the live show. So make sure to look for that exclusive merchandise when you go. Fourth tip. This is pretty much one that I don't think a lot of people think of. When you go to a live show and you got to use the bathroom or you want a drink or maybe the merchandise stand was just really big and you just wanted the new, uh, new Day t-shirt and you didn't want to wait in that line, wait for a match that you really don't care for and don't go during intermission. Intermission is the worst time to get your stuff because everyone's getting out of their seats and it's just going to be as busy. To me, personally, I saw two Smackdowns within a month of each other. I didn't care for the Luke Harper versus Aaron Rowan match the second time around. That was my time to get up. I got my drink. There's no one in line. Went to the merch booth. No one was there. I got to take my time, pick out exactly what I wanted, and I ended up getting the most you know, waiting for a match that I didn't care about. So that is my main suggestion for you guys. If a person comes out, you're like, eh, I don't really care to see them live. That's the time to get your merch, get your drinks, and use the bathroom. And the final tip for live shows, this one really only applies to you if you have floor seats. Um, I didn't start getting floor until like last year, so I did find out a cool little trick. If you get to the show early enough and you're within the first two or three rows, if you ask the security guard nice enough, they will let you stand up against the guardrail and take a picture as close as you possibly can to the ring. Sometimes security guards will not want you to do that before the show, so sit in your seat a little bit afterwards and wait for it to clear out. Most of the time, they're pretty cool and you'll be able to get a really nice shot of you next to the ring, or if you just want to get a really close-up ring shot, just wait until after the show or right before it starts and make sure to check with a security guard so you don't get yelled at. And these are my five tips to help you at WWE Live Events. Let me know what you think about my tips in the comment below. Make sure to like this video and subscribe because there's always more to come.